What's going on, guys? Captain Corey! Get Captain Corey! J just radio him, dammit! The outpost is under attack! Corporal, we gotta move out! We gotta move out! Corporal, and more are coming! Corporal! Militia? What the hell? What's going on, guys? My name is Gamerman, and... I'm tired of getting interrupted. I'll tell you that hey, for uh, damn sure. Oh can... my god! No, I can't. I got shit to do. But anyway, in the last episode, we found out that Sherman's camp has a very disturbing secret. O'Brien, oh, I'm at one of your beacons. The one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John. I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. Ah, uh, another Nero mission. I love these so much. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I okay, need the area yeah, secured now. And this time, I need down. you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something. Okay, so I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. Clear. Clear. Come on, guys, just uh, yeah. clear. clear out. Area's locked down. Can't Not let them see me. Go. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Figured you'd stop and fill up at the old Peltrow doing stage. In case you didn't see it, sign says gas low. Got it. O'Brien, the tracker's set. You should be like getting to Lemetry. Copy that. Hold think I've ever seen someone. Yes, we're reading it loud and clear. O'Brien out. Yeah, you're welcome, O'Brien. kind of interesting how freakers don't attack them 
even though they do, but I'm saying like for this, for this instance, there's like three nests over in that gas station, and it's funny how they're here, and the freakers don't attack them. Like, you kind of already see hints, like they're behind this, like they have to be, you know. The hints are there, but uh. O'Brien. Hmm. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Hang on, I got an idea. O'Brien? Oh, god damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. We're gonna take out this place real quick. There's like three of them. There's one at the top, one on the bottom, and then one in the trailer. Deacon, you there? Another job came up. Ricky, yeah, um, okay, I'll stop by. St. John out. What the fuck are you? Oh, you're one of them bleachers. I see it now. I hate that. Alright, so. Here we go. Big shit. Trash! Should be one of them. Two of them. And three of Oh wow. Well, there's only one thing I can do. That's out in an attractor. And throw a grenade. Okay, so that's how those work. Sick. And I'm still failing gym class. That's a constant. And for some reason that nest didn't get destroyed even though I literally shot the Molotov right at it. Oh no! Still failing gym class! Gym class! Isn't one of my strong suits, I must say. Gym class! Gym class! Class of gym! Father of mine, where have you gone? Get on it! Do something! Jesus Christ! -a -a. I'm done. Like, this game's actually pissing me off now. Thank God for that engine upgrade, dude. Oh my God. Which I forgot to completely mention. I got the engine upgrade last episode, I think. I, I can't remember right now. I'm too stressed out. But uh, my bike is much faster. And if it wasn't faster, dude, who knows what would have happened just there. Another wolf. I'm getting stream sniped. Even though I'm not streaming. The only thing I'm streaming to is YouTube, lol. Except it's not really a stream, it's a video, idiot. Shut up. Uh, yeah, please help me. You guys have live ammunition and aren't using it. God, dude. I'm gonna hit up some Nero checkpoints or something. I have to. Yeah, upgrading my stamina. Yeah. How's it going, brother? I'm Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh. 
You lay down. Thank you, ma'am. He can't have visitors just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Well, that's great. We saved two extra dudes because of the antibiotics that I stole from the Rippers. Now. Oh. <laughs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. But uh, what happens if those two die whenever the Rippers attack? Because like I said last episode, you know... I stole from them. They are not going to take that shit lightly. Wait a sec. I got it. Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. But f okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Black needs fuel. Of course it does. I love this game. Now let me just go find a fuel can somewhere, right? Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it, I'm going on foot. Oh, I'm so glad there's a fucking tow truck there. Fuel. And you know what pisses me off? is that the bike probably doesn't need fuel. The game just wants me to fuel up. Which is why whenever we get a new fuel can, this game can go a lot faster. And I can go a lot faster. And we're gonna have a grand old time. Hmm. Yeah, look, 40%, you mean to tell me that that? Really? There you go. You happy now, game? Which way? There you are. Oh shit! There he is. Turn around. Damn it, winch man! Come on! Oh no, you're not gonna get away. Fuck you! Up. <laughs> Seriously? You can't get away Well, he's getting away from you. Don't let him get away, Deke. The hell was that shit? Hello? Don't I away, fall Deke. off my bike, but he don't fall off his. Okay, pal. Now you say, John. I gotta heal. Fuck me. Come on. Ah, shit. Of course. Where am I going?
There he goes. Woo! How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds. Maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. What the hell was that? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to take him out. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. I'll leave you here. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. All righty. Oh. oh my lord. I don't understand Someone's how coming. I just did that, but I cleaned my bike. Hold on, I know him. Open up. He's got a job for me though, huh? Who's got a job for me? I think I have a feeling. Hey, I got a job for you. Oh great. You got a job for me. Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo, he can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I got to go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Okay, wait, so... Good. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. I don't have to deal with him, Mike told me God. what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Oh. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, <clears throat> we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride... No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, <coughs> no. We're doing this my way. <coughs> Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. Mm. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you.
Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. The big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. Willamette? Me talking I dead rising? I don't think they to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow. You are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Uh, Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. Well, I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. He just wanted out of marsh duty. OK, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. <clears throat> All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Outflow. Where are you <clears throat> going? Down here. So I've noticed, right, that someone that I used to know, were we tight together? If y'all know what I mean. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming. That's that bridge I mentioned. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? A couple well, of episodes ago. My Copeland? Probably both. Mm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Ammo is very scarce. Also, there's newts everywhere. <laughs> come here, touch this. <laughs> come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. 
Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. So awkward. What up the heck? Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Well, that sucks. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Oh, yep. nice. That did it. That's going to make a lot of noise. Ha ha. You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. Of course. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? If it's not one thing... I don't know. On my way back, I other. tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. So this mission is going to be long as heck, I have a feeling, right? So if the episode is long, that's great for you guys, but more editing for me. Hmm. Well, these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. <laughs> a few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Eddie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. That's funny. Not the peeping Tom thing, but the scalpel. Here, boost me up. Up you go. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on. Junction room's right around here. All right. And there's a nest. Yep. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. 
Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Oh, ammo. Great. I need ammo. Use this. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go pistol. Light her up. Ready? Okay. Got you. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. Of course you are. Damn. Well, that's that. Burn it down. Okay, remind me to never use pistols. Here they come. Ready. Christ. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. Yes, please. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Down! <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... Jesus <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. That pistol gameplay was embarrassing. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh... You never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. What? No, hey, hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. <clears throat> hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deke, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Yeah, well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. Oh. Sarah. Yep. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Get on the back! Oh, Jesus. Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? <laughs> yeah, right? That was a great idea. Yeah, how long you 
sleep in a camper. I can't believe oh, shit. Well, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? I need ammo. Okay, I have no ammo. Except for a sniper. I shot me! Iron Mike has a tree. Why don't you drag your ass back to Iron Butte? Find the shithole you crawled out from! Seriously? We have a tree! Wait, oh, that guy walked right in front. See, I know how to aim. Damn it. Ow. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Ow. I need ammo. I have none. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go in. Come on. Come on. Guys, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh heavy gun! You gotta be kidding me! Oh shit! I have no ammo. Ricky, help me out here. Oh, we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Uh. That's all I got, huh? Wow. <laughs> of course! You know, this game's really something. Alright, we're gonna have to do it this way. I could just sit on fire all day. A great success! Bro has no skin. You gotta be kidding me. Annoying is that? Yes, stop. We will show you the power. Hey, man, I got plenty of these, so just letting you know. Uh, you can yeah. just go straight to hell. Oh, yeah, nice and low down there for you, huh? I'm mad. Lay down, suppressing fire. What are you doing? 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 I got a machine gun. I think that's the last of them. I actually got a machine gun. I've seen rivers before the map like that. What the hell are they amped up on? Yeah. Back in the day, that I just committed the heist of the century. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, Give me uh, ammo, ammo, bath ammo. Salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on. Let's see if they messed up our bikes. Do you think that Iron Mike's treaty with these heist of the century, dude? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa. What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? 
Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Oh, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. So I got a machine gun. Very happy that I did. Hey, I gotta ask you something. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the Army. Why were... You wanna hear this or not? We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU 23s, modified anti aircraft guns. Big guns? Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike. Spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down... I have six I got HP. a job at a bike shop run by this... by this old guy named Jack. And, uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. And he patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Yeah. I have no... Jesus. Oh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? I've got, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. Uh... I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one... Um... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. 
One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Well, to me this is old news, but for people who are hey, tuning anyway, in to see day, my I, uh, series, saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's that's hear. what the sawmill Wait, holds. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? That's they why I was freaking out a couple of episodes lane. ago. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Good lord, that was a long mission. Hey, do you think Freaks remember anything? Well, I gotta end this video here. Um, hey, good to see you. A lot went down. Hey, Blair, how's life? But <laughs> whatever you need, I got it. I'm so happy I got that machine gun. Cause now, yeah, that's a day I'm. Never I gonna... actually have. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, looks too bad, huh? Schizo. Schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> I have yep, some leeway. That's nice. Finally. Now that's an upgrade. Trust level three. New items. Boozer shotgun. Sidearm. Yeah, I want this. Equip that. Good one. Forgot I had the nine millimeter still. I literally had to use a ripper gun to get me out of there. Really? Okay. But uh yeah, I gotta end this video here. Hey. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Leave some comments down in the section below. And check out my YouTube shorts because they're usually a prelude to what's going to happen or something that did happen in the featured episode. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.